What is up, YouTube? So back with another free preset for Serum. And today we kind of did like this house anthem type bass layered with the saw feel. Um, it's pretty cool. Usually back in the day I would use two different sounds and layer them up to make something like this. But Serum really was nicely to basically make a sound from the wavetable. That way I could process it and then layer it with the saw. So it it worked out very nicely. and. I'll show you what it sounds like right now. And it's only one note and it sounds nice and thick, so it works really good. So we're gonna break down this preset. So if you like what you hear, hit subscribe if you haven't subscribed already. Click that thumbs up. That helps us out and lets you know that you like the stuff we're producing. So let's break down this preset. The wavetable I used is from our future pack. Uh, well, not future as in the style, but like in the future, we're releasing this cars pack, which we used a bunch of different cars for uh, and made wavetables and presets and stuff out of them. So that's uh, watch out for that staying. You know, all those YouTube videos of Mustangs <laughs> crashing, drifting, going up curbs and stuff. Um, so it was just a little joke. It was just a picture of a uh, mustang doing nothing just sitting there looking cool uh but yeah so that that's where this preset came from you will have more info on that pack uh, in the future um uh, but our next pack that's coming out is fm sounds it's a bunch of just punch the mic it's 50 wavetables 50 presets ableton projects and a bunch of other cool video training stuff so that pack's coming out very soon hopefully within the the next week or so from you guys watching this video on the release day and if you're watching this way in the future it's probably already out so the preset i had that wavetable going but then i wanted to make it like side chained but not side chained you know i'm basically ducking out this blue area of the sound so i just started slapping the lfo on everything so originally this is what it sounded like <laughs> I also know that's really not the best kick, but deal with it for this tutorial. Um, so I just made it move a little bit. Let me, I'll show you through the wavetable real quick. So there's more options, but I liked it right here. And then I made the side chain effect doing the volume. And then I wanted to layer the sound a bit. So I turned on the saw, put a bunch of unison on and just detuned it till it fit with the sound. And then again, I put the sidechain pumping type thing, LFO, on the level. And that gave us this. Then I wanted to add some white noise to give it a little more brighter. To get it a little more brighter. So I'm just having that layered in nicely. And then I wanted to tame it a bit and that's where this LFO filter came in. Just adds a little more dramatic effect to the side chain. Make sure A and B and the noise are going in there. And that's all for this side. You could switch it, you know, if you want to do different speeds and stuff. Mono or legato, all that stuff's up to you. Let's go into the effects. Well, the effects, I wanted just a little width on it. Let me turn off all these real quick. So I put a little width on it. And then the distortion came in. Brought it to life a little bit, gave it some energy, a little more punch in the pack, you know? Uh, and then the chorus kind of did the opposite, it kind of, blended the sound a bit and made it less aggressive. So between the two, I came out very nicely. So very subtle. Then the compressor, I did the multi-band and started sliding these bands around until it sounded good. And this is what we came up with.
definitely gave it some more energy with the high end. Then the reverb, I wanted it to go the opposite of everything else. So everything else is like ducking it with the side chain. I want this to go up. So it's giving it reverb, pulling it back, giving it reverb, pulling it back. So only if you like stop it at the very beginning, you're gonna hear the actual reverb tail, but it pulls it out by the end of it. Cause it's starting up with reverb and taking it out. Then the EQs, I cleaned it up a bit, gave it some more sparkle and took out the low end. Really not much taking out the low end. I would definitely switch it depending on what kind of sub I'm putting in and how much frequencies the sub's playing. Then I would, you know, adjust the frequency. But that's what I had it at for now, so it's there for you guys to mess with. But that's this preset. Again, if you like what you hear, don't forget to subscribe for weekly free presets and training tips. And if you want this preset, click the first link, join.tarrant.info. Put your email in, you'll get a bunch of free stuff, like over 60 presets, training, and a bunch of free stuff we'll be sending you. So if you want all that, put your email in there on that first link. Otherwise, scroll down and find direct preset download, and you can download it. As always, thanks for watching. Peace.